Alright, sink. Boom. Hello everyone, and welcome to the poorly planned mukbang. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's I, so awful. I can't believe I just did that. Oh, um, um, so, as requested by this person. Yeah. Sorry, I can't remember <laughs> Sorry, who. Sorry, don't remember who but, it is. Um, shout out to you for requesting a, a poorly planned mukbang of Danish foods, mm -hmm. which is now what's happening here. Yeah. So, we've gathered a bunch of delicious Danish dishes. Mostly for our own pleasure, but I it mean, also works well for a mukbang. We're also just having lunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just also but just you know lunch. This is what you guys wanted for some reason. So here you ah, go. Very, very strange, but okay. So and Freddy's dog is, is eyeing me like a, like a tiger. Just, just sniffing <laughs> that armpit. <laughs> um, all right. So should we explain what it is we're eating here? So how, first? how are we starting off? Chef. All right. Well, I think first the drinks. Yes. We are starting off with a little thaksikundi. It's a Danish... Um, it's basically like a Danish Sprite, but I, I think better than Sprite. Can I be honest with you? Yeah. Never had it. Have you never had it? Never had it. Well, so this will, be, this will be a reaction video as well as a mic. But, and then, can we get up close to the mic, please? Ooh. It's a wet fart. Yeah, that's mine didn't sound as good. It's really long. Ooh. Just a little off the top. God, just me is like pushing my chair. <laughs> <laughs> Flies out the window. All right, well. Well, here's to Danishness. <laughs> Total assholes. Mm. Oh yeah, it tastes like Sprite. It, yeah, it's, it's it's basically like Danish Sprite. Not bad. Not bad. No, I'm not a not a huge uh, soda guy. Me yeah, neither. me neither. But All it's right. for the mukbang. You exactly. Know? All right, so first course of what we're doing, it's called a Paris abouf, which is like a Paris. Steak, I guess. Yeah, Paris by direct patty? translation. Yeah, it's Paris patty, <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's basically toast bread, uh, minced meat patty, mm. and then a bunch of stuff you put on top. We got uh, onions, we got egg yolk, we got mm. what is this radish? Uh, beet. Radis? Beet. Oh, beet, beet. Sorry. Look yeah. That. Look at that egg yolk. Oh god, it's fine. <laughs> oh, oh goodness. Yeah, so just you, you want the IQ or I'm okay. You, I'm I'm a pretty basic dude when it comes to mine. <laughs> I don't need anything. But I, I, I will say my dad makes a pretty good Paris Abouf at home. I'll say my dad's a pretty good IQ. <laughs> <laughs> no, Paris Abouf, honestly, I freaking love it. So yeah, so let's just dig in. Never never thought I'd be doing. You know, I honestly I'm kind of weirded out by what our lives have become. Yeah, I started YouTube. Almost you ten years ago, as a never young, thought I'd be making a mukbang. Young, young lad. Yeah. Were mukbangs even a thing back then? <laughs> back in the ancient times when you started? Mm -mm. Oh no, never. Mmm. Mmm. Right. Mm. That's good. Mmm. We're that also both good. very hungry. Mm -hmm. I ate. Uh, oh, I drank a smoothie for breakfast. That's it. Good call. I had my usual uh, muesli. <laughs> My usual uh, Jola Muslio. <laughs> God. And we did just um, record for a few hours. Yeah, we've had no. some had some pods. You know, I feel like such an old lady right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very uncomfortable with like people watching me eat. I don't know, like on the internet. I feel like it's some weird like fetish thing. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna hate editing that. <laughs> That's gonna be horrible. Uh, All right. Then what? Discussion topics. Oh God. Mm. Let's see. Your f***ing dog looking at me. <laughs> mm. Best movies with food in it. <laughs> the movie Chef. <laughs> it's a good ass movie. Um. I mean. We can just, I mean, I think in a mukbang you just kind of talk about like, yeah, whatever. So, I mean, we can talk about we had we had a little little outing recently to um we did Refin mm. for those who aren't familiar, which is everyone I which assume. I, which I assume is yeah, literally everyone. Even my dad, although that might have just been me pronouncing it like super American. <laughs> <laughs> Going to Refin. <laughs> he looked at you and smacked you. <laughs> yeah. Um. No, it was very nice time. Very bloody. Very, very nice, chill place. Mm. Kind of like a street food. You can get a bunch of different foods everywhere. Yeah. Very, and then, very fitting to what we're doing right now. Yeah, and like bars and stuff. Mm -hmm. mm. Very nice place. 
like on the water. Mm. Mm. Talking about my phone, so sorry. It's like, I love it. <laughs> mm. Let's put that here so people don't. Oh, I didn't already see it. Never mind. The surprise is ruined. And then there's, um, you could bungee jump from a crane. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, bungee jump from a crane, and <laughs> if you were to do it nude, you'd get it for free. Yeah. Now I tried my best to convince you to come on that. <laughs> you didn't do it though. No, that's because I uh, wasn't legally allowed. Hmm. No, I'll be naked. I can't, I can't be naked in public. Mm. Listen, I think that goes for everyone. <laughs> make, make every man jealous. <laughs> and I, did, I think I did say because it's like over water. Normally you stop like two or three meters before you hit the water with this bungee jump. I did say to you that if I were to do it naked, I would hit the water. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the mukbang. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> I, okay, call we do a weekly mukbang. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I've never agreed more to anything. Um, yeah. Calling that a bungee jump was pretty... Pretty generous. It was literally just like a cord. Yeah. And then you strap in, just get dunked in the water. Mm -hmm. Naked, presumably. Uh, hopefully. Yeah. Also, we knew one of the uh, bartenders, so we got- Oh yeah, so we got a bunch of free drinks. Yeah. Or not free, but like discounted. Yeah, definitely not free. <laughs> I'm broke now. <laughs> As right. was, uh, you also showed off in that Instagram picture. Right. That's a pretty good Instagram picture. I kind of like that. Let me see if I can I'll show this here. This is also very Danish. I don't know, it might be Scandinavian in general, but at least a lot of people in Denmark really like this. Let me see. Let me put it here. This is, I think, cod filet. Again, on some bread. Cod filet with some uh, shrimp. There is some uh, asparagus. Caviar. Caviar, some asparagus. A uh, bit of salad. Jeez. Lemon on top. Yeah, do mm. we. Do you have your phone, by the way? I do. Maybe you can film like a close up. Oh, I will film a close up. Brilliant. <laughs> Mukbang time. Let me see here. Get the video on. So what we we do now, BJ. <laughs> so, <laughs> so now we're being served a delicious fish fillet. Ooh yes. Which is fish fillet. Fish fillet for those uninitiated. <laughs> With a little bit of a little bit of shrimp, a little bit of caviar. I Some think there's also. There's yeah, a second one here. Oh yeah. Is this like a second fish right here? I don't know. Double what. the fish question mark? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> so yeah, very Danish. I love it. Let's get to it. All right. Ooh. All right. I, yeah. Let me eat. Should I try and let's fucking get it. Which one you want? Uh, uh, up to you, dealer's choice. All right. This one's slightly smaller. This one's slightly bigger. I'll probably take the smaller one. All right. For my petite figure, you know. Petite figure. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. What are your thoughts on caviar? Caviar? Um, oh, I dig it. I'm, I'm a pretty big fan, to be honest. Oh, oh I, I miss your bread. Oh. Yeah, I was about to say, interesting um, choice to use cucumber as the bread. <laughs> oh, so is this a donut they've used? I think it would be more of a bagel, but... Right, not a... <laughs> is this a chocolate glazed <laughs> Homer Simpson donut? <laughs> Are we eating licorice? Right? <laughs> not right now, anyways. Ah, <laughs> foreshadowing! <laughs> your dog is like, what the f***? Oh, what the shit too. is going on? I think you were onto something though with best cooking movies, because I mean, it's been way too long since we talked about chef. Mm, right. Just gen in <laughs> our lives. Also, um, if you want shrimp, just go for it. Uh, oh yeah, chef. I mean, I haven't seen chef. What? Yeah. We have a whole. I feel like we talked about it for like a whole segment. I, I we did, but I've never seen it. Strange. <laughs> That's gonna make it in. Here's the great part about editing. I'm gonna cut out all the times I do something really gross. I'm just gonna zoom in on your face every time. I'm just like, Bleh. I'm so so upset. Then the last pod, well, I'll get us some serviettes. Uh, is it good? Are we liking it? They're so good. It's so good, isn't it? I'm a big fisky fan. Mm -hmm. For you? Thank you, sir. And for me. And this is a pretty good one. Where'd you get this? What was the place? This is called like... Oh yeah, shout out to the place. Let's see. This <laughs> is... Hashtag sponsor. <laughs> From R Restaurant Hellrup Sale Club. Mmm! Mm, I own that! <laughs> <laughs> it's right... I know, I know that place. But chef, I mean... 
It's more just an advertisement for Twitter than anything. Mm. Very Favreau move. Mm, push. An advertisement for Twitter, how? Like, it just always like, have you seen this new food truck? I saw it on Twitter. <laughs> Good on you, Favreau. Who gives a fuck, Favreau? <laughs> <laughs> no, a good movie. Fun. It has a, a sneaky Downey cameo in it. Spoilers. What does... As himself? No. No, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a douchey guy. So as himself. Mm. <laughs> mm. He's a douchey guy who doesn't believe in Favreau's dreams or something. How can you not believe in food? <laughs> Downey, wake up. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry I'm not saying much. I'm just so f***ing. No, this is really good. This is just so good. Yeah, and, and we're just genuinely really hungry. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh my god. The thing is, usually when you get this kind of takeaway food, like takeout, it's not great. Is that your grandpa? God, it is. <laughs> I was like, okay, I hope it's not just a random old man. <laughs> he just walks in. Sorry, go ahead. No, yeah, like usually when you t do takeaway order with this kind of like food that's usually, like I'd say this is much better to get at a restaurant than usually get yeah. takeout, right? I think they've done a good job here. Yeah, restaurant hell of a time. Good stuff. It's kind of menu-esque. It is. Which I, you know, I'm a fan of menu. Mm. Mm. Favorite like Danish things. Mm. Now that we're kind of in the theme, you know? Right, right. Denimple. <laughs> <laughs> the flag of my forefathers! <laughs> the first flag, it actually fell from the heavens. It did. Oldest True story. Oldest flag in the world. Because it fell from the heavens. Lego. Dude, I'm a huge... Have you been to Lego Night? I have. Lego Night, f***ing epic place. I don't want to crush your dreams here. I also thought it was epic. But the last time I said to someone I was at Lego Land, they were like, Oh, I hate, I hate that place. Who? <laughs> I need a name and address. <laughs> I mean, I haven't been in about 10 years, mm -hmm. but I remember it being epic. <laughs> mm. But memory? Except for William. a deep trauma I had. And I think this was at Legoland. They had like Lego carts. It was basically like- You'd think so then. Like bumper cars, you know? Okay. And so, or no, it was like a race. And then for some reason, me being like eight years old, I was very much struggling in the race. I was like, how the f*** does this car work? I can't get this shit to work. And then the car exploded. <laughs> now, and then I remember, because I was not doing very well, and you know, the Danish kind of spirit of sort of bit friendly, friendly banter, teasing uh -huh. kind of thing. I heard some other kid's parents like on the side of being like, oh, number 11's really struggling, isn't he? And I started crying. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was like seven or something or six. And I was like, I like how I started the story at like 10. And I'm, I'm, I, was, I was probably five. I think, I think it was yesterday actually. <laughs> No, I think I was like six and it was like very upsetting experience because it was just it was like a national humili humiliation just being like trapped in the national cart. humiliation <laughs> it was broadcasted live for all to see the queen was like lol look at this dude can't even drive a car bro <laughs> bird <laughs> and sorry fake mustache God. sorry it's, why has this become our thing I don't <laughs> our one thing <laughs> We were literally talking about Brooklyn Nine Nine, mm -hmm. and then somehow we got to King Shark. I, it's a very easy way to go, actually. You've had any trauma at Legoland? Not not trauma, I'd say, but like a very demeaning thing happened. Mm. I um, I had long hair back then, right? Still still kind of do, but like it was longer when I was when I was young. I was like, ah uh, yes, I'll, I'll throw up a picture of uh, all right, young young boy Freddie here. I was like six or seven, I think. Mm. I'm like, all right. Going off one of the rides, and there's like there's like a bit of a queue, and I kind of like I there's a queue when you got off to get in, like so people standing to get onto the ride were standing close to where I got off, right? Mm. It was kind of crowded. I had to get through, and I'm like, oh excuse me, can I can I get through? And then a woman looks at me. She's holding her little kid in the <laughs> in this T-Rex hand of hers, <laughs> holding her um, kid's hand, and she's like, oh yeah, honey, let's just quickly make room for this little girl. Wow. Um. Ah! <laughs> and yeah, Sorry. I, I. Well, 
I'm glad that's in the bottom of Mook Bay. That's what you get for going, ah. <laughs> that's so stupid. I'm so happy with that. Made it in. Just act like nothing happened. See, the funny thing is, I, I could have cut that out. No, I have. But, but you I won't. didn't. <laughs> but um, I actually, I have a similar. Well, it wasn't for my appearance that I was mistaken for a girl, but my name, rather. Because as you know, Benedictu. Right. Is a very common Danish female name. You know, Benedict is not very commonly Danish male name. No, not really. Think. So there was one time where I was. Freak. <laughs> When I was like seven or eight or something, and I was in a, like a swimming competition. Right. And they'd put me in the race with the girls. And so I had a choice of either not participating at all or swimming with the girls. They were like, well, we'll like, they were like, okay, we've messed up, but we'll let you swim. Like, it's fine. I was like, you know what? You know what? I'm good. So I just went. Oh, so you home. didn't race? No. Nope. It was oh, a very you sad. You should totally day. have raced and just. Because like... also, not to put, like, not to put myself on the pedestal. But, but I, you won, I won a lot of. No, I'm not saying. <laughs> but I would have destroyed them. <laughs> but those women ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm saying, like, I won a lot of a lot of those things as a kid, and so it was kind of a fun thing to do. So I, to have to skip it because I've been nationally humiliated once again. Right, tragic. Very like Max Pini kind of situation. Oh, I love Max Pini. Speaking of Danish things, it's like a Danish diary of Wimpy Kid. Yeah, where where everything is really just. Oh, yeah, that's a very good comparison actually. Very um, everything he his family does and things he gets like. Uh, you know, like, for, how do you say that in English? Embarrassed. Mm. Or like, oh, he's subjected. Yeah, he's subjected to. Uh, it's um, it's very embarrassing for the man. So <laughs> I remember there's one scene where he comes over a hill and sees his mom leading a naked yoga class. Max Pini is basically just Danish Dire Wimpy Kid in the sense that like it's the same concept, but it's much more much not more not Danish. not yeah not juvenile, but like no, it's it's more. It's, more out there stuff that you probably wouldn't uh, yeah. see in an American film. Uh, have, you, have you ever seen Clone? I've seen bits of it. God. That's another Danish um, Danish show that's just so... That's like a cult classic almost. Yeah. Where um, it's about these... Yeah, this guy called Frank Vam, who's also in Game of Thrones, by the way, as the bookkeeper in the Citadel for all the maesters. A little fun <laughs> fact. Anyways... Um, Fun facts with Fidel. <laughs> where basically, <whew>. God damn. <laughs> where um, he is just the most embarrassing and just so cringe. The, these cringe experiences he gets put out in front of is it's awful. Before we go to that, don't you f touch anything. <laughs> to quote uh, the guy from um, Couples Retreat and John Wick, dessert. Peter Serafinowitz? That's the one. He's, he's in a lot more things than... No, no, no. <laughs> I appreciate the dessert. Dessert. <clears throat> Billy, why are we in a birdcage? Ooh, dessert indeed. Oh. What? <laughs> Act like nothing else. We've got a summer speed and a Carl's... I don't know if summer speed is... I think it's... Is it Danish? I don't think it's Danish. I don't know. It's European at least. <laughs> it's not <f> American. <laughs> and a Carlsberg beer. So. Yeah. so one of us is a real man. And the other is a Carlsberg drinker. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Summer Spirit, in case you don't know, it's a cider. It has the same alcohol percentage as beer, but it just doesn't taste like absolute trash. sewage water. <laughs> <laughs> but what's the, what's the alcohol percentage here? 4.5. 4.6. <laughs> 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 so let's just crack these I, up. Oh, go ahead. Oh. I think there might that's, also that's good stuff. we might have one in like the cinema as well. So we, we'll probably also have some ASMR cracking in there. But first, oh, yeah, just, quick, just okay. Ooh, that's good. That's a good one. Uh, and to and to this dessert, we have some actual some actual dessert, some actual <laughs> actual gastronomical dessert from uh, Denmark. The Culinary Magellans, they call us. <laughs> we explore all options in the gastronomical world. I think we should start with that, because this is the one I hate the most. I hate this as well. So we'll just have one. Licorice. Licorice. A Danish... Favorite? Amongst many? <laughs> Danish curse? <laughs> I do not like this. I hate licorice. This one is chocolate covered, so I got... Okay, so it's better. Better. better now. Okay. Um, if you've never had licorice, it's very... Um, bitter... It's a bitter, Gross. hard experience. H horrible. Reminds me of like 
You know who you know who loves this? You seen. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh yeah, old news. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew that when I was friends with him way before you. <laughs> yeah. After you, sir. I hate licorice with a burning passion. These don't smell terrible, but I mean. No, the chocolate will probably help, but. So, uh, salut. Fuck me! I just licked it and it's horrible. Why would you lick it? I you didn't. Just, do it. I was gonna just put it in. Swallow in one go. <laughs> like a grape. <laughs> like a cyanide pill. You just... <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. I feel like we're taking a really bad <laughs> shot. <laughs> yeah. I feel like these are like yeah, these are we're taking our cyanide pills together. It's been a pleasure. So it's not good. Mm -mm. I'm gonna spit my mouth. I'm gonna spit yours out on the plate. No, I'm gonna go through it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wash it down with our other dessert. Cheers. Fucking horrible. Yeah, it's not good. So we're both ah. gonna get hammered to make up for it. Yeah, we're both gonna get very, very drunk to forget about this experience. Oh, miserable. Yeah, not licorice good. not for me. You know it is for me. Gifla. Gifla, man. Man. Cinnamon, small cinnamon things. Yeah, little mini cinnamon rolls. I think they have these everywhere. I don't think so. I've, I've never seen Gifla outside of Denmark. The Beef Lord? <laughs> Alright, we should probably keep this bag away from the mic, actually. So Alright. Okay, yeah, let's have a cheers should, little. Should we do a little close-up video here? A little in-depth analysis of it? <laughs> so as you can see. This is a like kefir. Cheers. Brilliant. Mmm. So mm. much better. Jay, I I could eat a whole bag of these. These are just I mean I'm sure we have at some point. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Mm. That's just the stuff. My favorite. My my Alcoholic. My favorite, my my. <laughs> <laughs> my alcoholic drink of choice is this. Is a summer spirit. Mm. I mean, like besides, you know, stuff with hard liquor. That's my. <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> That's not weird. Besides, eighty percent vodka shots. That's what I, I really live for. I, <laughs> I love a good um, screwdriver. You know, some. Uh, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, sex, sex on the beach. Um, That's not bad. Cocktails and such. Bloody but, Mary is terrible. Summer beer is just an easy go-to. It's just a beer, but it tastes like cider, like apple. It's so good. I mean, it, it is a cider. No, I know, but you got you know what I mean. <laughs> it's just a beer, but it tastes like a cider. <laughs> Drinks cider. <laughs> I just can never get into beer. I know I live in Denmark, and I know. I've had. I mean, genuinely, I did not like beer at first. It's I. I've gotten quite the stick for it over the years at many. No, many I, I I used to drink it just to get the rush of. Alcoholism. Don't we all? And then, uh, but after drinking it so much for for just like to to drink, <laughs> I sound like an yeah, alcoholic. Like, <laughs> but after pounding it down just every every day, after years of turmoil, <laughs> um, I've actually grown to enjoy it. Like I think canned beer is definitely the worst tasting kind of beer. If you get like by um, you know you know the thing in the bar, I forget what it's called. Oh yeah yeah. Then the it's Yankee, actually pretty good. The Yankee pulley machine. No, oh, yeah, yeah. The the. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just because I didn't like it initially, I was just like, you know what? I'll just have some spirit and then. I get it. I get it. Yeah, it was also. I genuinely would rather drink like. Again, this sounds very drink responsibly, everyone. You know, we're, mm, we're right. of age here in Denmark, so it's okay. But I would rather drink like a hard liqueur than. Well, you mean like mixed, right? Yeah. Or, yeah. Than that, but I would even, I would even rather take a shot of something than drink a full beer, if I'm honest. Mm. Except if it's sambuca. Sambuca gross. The worst thing we've ever had. We have some bad experiences with Wait, that. We went out, we went out. Uh, we don't have to go into detail. But, but we did have some sambuca shots and. It's not a good time. It was, it wasn't great. It was bad, in fact. It was, in fact, quite terrible. I mean, right. the night was fun, we but. We put it here, just so, come yeah, on, just, just forget about just the so table. Just uh, product placement. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, Faxa. Yeah, we should also say, um, we don't endorse underage drinking. We're both of age. Don't drink if you're young and drink responsibly if you're old enough to drink. True. Next up, <laughs> tiny fluebutter. Um, these used to be called something very racist, so we won't talk about that. <laughs> well, let's not talk about that because they're delicious. They're very good. So after after people found out that was not a very appropriate thing to call them, they changed to fluebutter, which means cream, cream. balls. <laughs> <laughs> and they're usually very good. They're usually a bit bigger, but you can also get them yeah. like a little small thing. Very delicious. I love these. They're great for 
in Denmark, when you have a, I don't know if you do this in other places, but when you have a birthday, you bring in like a little treat for the class. You do. And full bottle. Just brilliant. An easy, easy one to go to. Take, take a bite and then show us what's inside. <sighs> Ooh, good crunch, good crunch. We come in. And yeah, it's like... Cream balls. It's cream balls. And yeah, you can you can get various toppings and, and chocolate coatings. Mm -hmm. We have some strawberry ones. Mm. Some milk chocolate ones. I might just snack on these, you know. Mm -hmm. I, must, I, I haven't tried this one. Mm. White Very chocolate good. with... Is like gonna be strawberry inside as well, or? Mmm, -hmm. mm, that was quite good. Very, very good. good uh, you'd always, you'd always have these with in, in class, as you said, when there was a birthday or something like that. It was just, just a great little celebration. Always a bit of a fight to see if you can get a second one as well. Mmm. Well, it wasn't much of a fight with me. I just stamped my approval over and just took it. <laughs> just took the whole entire box. <laughs> Actually, it's mine. <laughs> Actually, it's my birthday. Also. We should talk about, and I don't know if you can relate to this, but mm, my mom reminded me of this this morning because I told her we we're going to do this. Mm -hmm. And she was like, oh, you should do that thing that you did in Bernahill, which is like uh, preschool, where they had a little catapult. You remember this? Oh my God. And you put a flu ball on the catapult on like a game day or something. Mm -hmm. One of the games would be you put a flu ball on a catapult, you launch it, and then you try to like, catch it. Everyone tries to catch it with their mouth. I got so close one time and it hit me in the nose. But it was very fun though. And it stayed there. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's been there ever since. <laughs> but um, my mom said we should do that. And I don't think we can do that in here. But I yeah. mean, we can, do, we can do it like on our arm. You see those? I mean, they're very small, so we can. Yeah, just try not to get it on the table. Yeah, you know, I'll let you do it. I'll let you be the brave brave warrior for this. Uh, what, what's a good one to do it with? Uh, just Black maybe one? Maybe a classic. Classic one? Um, I think I should maybe stand up. Whoa! Oh, cool. That was good. That was very good. Oh. Right there. Mm. I mean, I don't want to say, does life ever get better than this? But I got summer spirit. I got my boy. I got flu butter. Flu I just had this lunch. Meal. You, we should do mukbangs more often. Honestly, if we could do this instead of the podcast, it would be way better. <laughs> it was so chill. Just getting paid to eat delicious meals. Well, you say getting paid. We don't get paid. We don't get paid at all. It's um, it's a problem. So we should, you know, what we should do. What do you say? Make a Patreon. I swear to God. I was literally about to say Patreon. <laughs> what would we put on it as exclusive benefits? Do you put exclusive benefits on Patreon? And why else would anyone subscribe? To help us. <laughs> <laughs> like you think people like us? <laughs> um, we could do OnlyFans. <laughs> Put OnlyFans on our Patreon. Yeah, that's a very complicated. Okay, you unlock the link to our OnlyFans, and then you can also. Pay <laughs> and then you can also pay for that. It's gonna be like a six hundred dollar operation for one person. Um, it's like the fucking Tom Cruise guy on Cameo. We'll talk about that some other time. But oh, we're not talking about that now. I think we'll talk about it in the cinema actually. So okay. maybe we've already talked about it at this point in the vlog. Oh, yeah, you, you might already know. So. And also, I have to say, big shout out to Freddy because we're doing this at his place. He provided this delicious food. Mm. Big man, good. Sh words. No good words. It's good my pleasure. You you brought the licorice. So thanks. <laughs> I thought the thing we both were like, I'm gonna spit this out. <laughs> I'm a vomit, I'm a vomit. <laughs> Hold back my hair. <laughs> hashtag cream balls. Hold back my hair, hashtag cream balls. You never balls. held back someone's hair while they're throwing up? While they're cream balling you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have a few times. We, we've had, yeah, we won't talk about it, but we've had a an encounter with someone who was puking, and we were just kind of... Oh my fucking god. Let's not, yeah, let's not yeah, talk let's, about let's, that. Uh, but good, good shit right here. Shout out Summer Spoo. Shout out, shout out Cosbell. Yeah, again, drink responsibly. And don't drink it all, it's bad for you. Just look at this tum. <laughs> just look at this physique. <laughs> Does this look like a man who drinks? No. Because I don't. How much do you weigh, by the way? 82. In pounds? I don't know, actually. I'm not very good with pounds. I'm trying to think, if you were in the UFC, what weight class would you be in? I think I'd be middleweight. I um, think so, too, yeah. <laughs> Just looking at you. <laughs> 82 grams in... 180. Okay, yeah. So you'd be... You could, you could cut down to, to welterweight, I suppose. <laughs> I guess we, we could... go rid of this tum. I, I guess we could fight. <laughs> I, I could cut down to lightweight, dog. I'm not really proud of that, but I could. If I yeah, no need to No need to cut with that. Tremendous height of yours. 
Here's a let's let's, let's compare. Are, are you gonna eat these? No. Here's BHO Hudson. Okay. No, no, sorry. Here's a licorice, and this is BHO Hudson next to it. <laughs> About a quarter of your height. This. <laughs> I see your point. You and Yasid are both taller than me now. Because it used to be Yasid and I were the exact same. I was actually taller than Yasid at one point in time. But now I made so many jokes about it over the years, and now, and now I never now really ended it. Yeah, it's uh, and he's proper tall. Like he's yeah, he's like also, 188 or something. I made a like like you know. A jokey dig at my girlfriend the other day, as you know, you do a little bit of banter. A little bit, and like, she was you're like, short. Or what? Yeah, so yeah, something like that. Jay, I think I've. <laughs> that's like the nickname for my girlfriend. Well, she was like, "Well, at least I'm not the shortest of my two best friends." And I was like, "Yo, well, I guess I'll go f myself." <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll go. I guess I'll go cream balls myself. <laughs> God, just good stuff. <laughs> Should I try the thing? That's do not, it. It's do not it. gonna work. No, do it. I I do. Got that. <laughs> so I just smack it in. Yeah. So I, I I say you have it more straight, and then just. <laughs> it's just gonna go right down. Alright. Too big. Go. This is such a can we, can shark we, type of activity. Can we Alright, come on. <laughs> it's not the proper <laughs> Don't you have that choke on a flu A famously very soft food. <laughs> and he's gone. He's left. Mmm. <laughs> and. Mm. Damn. Well, I think that might be the end of the mukbang. Mm. Not much of a better note to end than that. Show, show my dog. Just show. Mm. Oh, I've never felt more accomplished in my life. Oh, there's the pooch. What up? <laughs> Attack mode. Hand. <laughs> hey, it's just me. Oh, look at her. Just me to say something. Just pukes everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here's me. Thank you for your cameo. You can f off now. <laughs> Alright, well, that's been the poorly planned mukbang. I think that is just a great lunch. Just a great lunch. I think we can probably also just to squeeze maximum content. I'll also just cut these out over the next few months, just like put them out as their own little pod videos. I like it, I like it. So yeah. <laughs> Back to the cinema.